Hello and welcome to this presentation on external thermal resistance, interface materials, and heat sinks, part of Osram Opto Semiconductor's LED Fundamental Series. In this presentation, we will look at thermal interface materials, influencing factors for heat sink selection, and steps to identify the right heat sink for an LED system design. Previously, we looked at the internal thermal resistance of the LED package, R theta junction to solder, and the thermal resistance offered by the substrate technology, R theta solder to board, used in an LED system. In this segment, we cover the thermal resistance from the substrate to the ambient. This typically involves an interface material and a heat sink or a housing to which the printed circuit board is attached. Real surfaces always exhibit a certain amount of roughness at the micro level and are never perfectly smooth. Physical contact between two surfaces only occurs at isolated points, with air pockets in between these points. Since air is a poor conductor of heat, a more conductive material can be used in order to reduce the thermal resistance and to increase the heat flow between the two surfaces. Without an appropriate optimal interface, only a certain amount of heat transfer occurs between the two surfaces, leading to overheating of components. In order to improve the heat transfer and reduce the thermal contact resistance, several interface materials are available. This slide provides a summary of the most commonly used thermal interface materials, along with their advantages and disadvantages. Thermal greases and compounds provide the lowest thermal interface resistance, but require care in handling. Elastomers and tapes eliminate handling problems, but require compressive loads, even with well-prepared surfaces. The success of a particular thermal interface material is dependent on the quality and processing of the material in a particular design. Beyond the thermal interface material used, the housing or the heat sink to which the printed circuit board is attached plays an important role in dissipating the heat from the LED junction to the ambient. As depicted in this slide, a housing material of higher thermal conductivity could significantly influence the junction temperature of the LED. Heat sinks enable a more efficient heat transfer from a heat source to the adjacent fluid by using an extended surface area. Heat gets moved from the heat source to the heat sink by conduction. The heat sink transfers heat to the ambient air by convection and radiation. There are various factors that influence the performance of the heat sinks. The figures on this slide show a plot of the temperature distribution under steady state conditions for heat sinks of various surface areas. Listed are the thermal resistances of the heat sink and temperatures at various reference points. As the surface area of the heat sink increases, the junction temperature of the LED decreases for the same applied conditions. The steps defined on this slide can be used to estimate the value of the thermal resistance of the heat sink needed for your system design. Once the thermal resistance of the required heat sink has been determined by calculation, an appropriate heat sink can either be designed or selected from various manufacturers. Finally, it is important to verify the effectiveness of the heat sink by thermal measurement. Please refer to the application note, Thermal Management of Osram OSTAR Projection Light Source on the main Osram Opto Semiconductors website for additional information. Thank you for viewing this presentation by Osram Opto Semiconductors.